It's like you're pressing top forward already. Got it! Yeah! <laughs> Hit and run box. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. I've just recently been to Evo Japan 2020 and I think it's the first time that this company Hitbox has just come to Japan to actually talk about their product with actual Japanese consumers. The reason this is interesting is because usually, as you know, I play arcade games like Street Fighter on an arcade stick and it's left, right, down, up. Usually you press up to jump in arcade, in fighting games. And there's a lot of reasons why the arcade stick made a lot of sense, especially if you're playing something like a scrolling shooting game and you're moving around the screen in eight different directions. But as you know, there's plenty of games where up is not jump. You might be playing a platform game like Super Mario World where you actually press a button to jump, or maybe you play on PC and you press up, down, left, right, move forward and backwards, but when you need to jump in a separate plane, you actually press the space bar, and so that is why this product is very interesting. This is what they call the hitbox. It's actually been around for like 10 years or so. And instead of pressing up to jump, you actually press your thumb on a button and you can actually use your left thumb or your right thumb. So it's similar to pressing WASD on a keyboard and pressing space to jump. For the first time ever, I had it properly explained to me how to use a controller like this. I still don't have one, but if I can get my hands on one, I would love to do a proper comparison. Let's see what this controller can do and see if there's any special tricks that may make you want to switch to this controller. Or maybe this is your first time playing fighting games and maybe this is the best control layout for you. All right, here we go. Yes! Alright, alright, so tell me, how much does this thing cost? 